Don't be fooled by the deals that I got. I'm still, I'm still Audrey from the block. I used to have a little, now I have a lot of clothes. <laughs> Cause I thrift all the time. Oh my goodness, it's so cringy. Everyone, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome to my channel. And today we are doing fun with fashion. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world. I have not been doing any thrift shopping lately. I just haven't been in the mood to thrift shop, but I have been in the mood to play around in my closet and work with what I have. And so today my inspiration comes from a fabulous entertainer. I think she's really pretty as well. And that is Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez to me has that style that's like a chameleon. She can go from urban chic to sexy and sultry and glamorous to the girl next door. So I want to look, take a look at her streets fashion sense and kind of go with some of her dressy casual looks not her glam looks uh because like i say i'm working with what i have in my closet so i had to kind of you know pull with what i had and i did not have the bling nor the glam in my closet but i did have some of the girl next door the kind of urban chic vibe going on so we're going to take a look at some of her you know, pics that the paparazzi took as she was strolling on the streets. And I'm gonna to try to recreate some of those looks and just have some fun. That's what we should do when we're playing around with fashion. Just have fun with the experiment and use, um, you know, these different images that you can find online as inspiration because you never know what might look good on you until you try it out. So let's step over to the clothing rack and see what we're going to work with today. I am so ready to jump right into this fashion styling, fun with fashion guys. I really like Jennifer Lopez's style and as I was perusing through the different looks, I noticed some common uh, threads among all of her stylings. She really does stick with like classic uh, pieces as her staples. And then she kind of adds that little edginess with her accessories, with her hairstyle, with her jewelry, you know, with her shoes, handbags, things of that nature. And I noticed that on her casual looks, she likes a nice sleek bun or a sleek ponytail. And I think that's just because it's easy, it's quick, you know, and it really pulls together a uh, look very, very easily. So, um, like I said, we're sticking with her urban chic, her street style, not going with the glam, even though she does kind of, you know, sprinkle it with a little glam and a little uh, sexiness and girliness. We're going with the more casual looks, not her red carpet looks. So, style number one. I really like Jennifer Lopez's outfit where she was wearing this off the shoulder, striped fitted dress, carrying her Birkin handbag. Absolutely love that look with her little sexy heels on. So I'm gonna recreate that look using what I have. Everything that I have up here is thrifted when it comes to clothes, guys. And like I said, I have not been thrifting lately, just playing around with what I have, which is always fun too. I have these two pieces, just, um, striped top and a striped skirt. And I think pairing them together, it's going to look like a dress the way that I style it. And it just is form fitting. Jennifer really knows how to play up her assets, if you will. She has really conditioned her body to be in great shape through her years of dancing and training and all of that. And I think she really looks amazingly great. And I think we're around the same age, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Jennifer's 50 years old and doesn't look 
at all 50. And my next look that she, that I ran across that I really liked was just this uh, white kind of blazer with a white shirt underneath the jeans. And then that red booty just really made it pop. So just adding that little pop of color was really nice. So I'm gonna try to recreate that look with this little jacket and t-shirt with some layering. So I'm putting my own spin on it with a little graphic tee and just some basic light jeans. Okay, so for the next look, you cannot go wrong with denim on denim. I think Jennifer did a really great job of piecing together this look, just a denim shirt with denim uh, crop jeans and a pair of nude pumps and no belt. You can never go wrong with denim on denim. I think this will be around forever. Another look that is classic and timeless is a black turtleneck with denim, the right pair of boots, and you are ready to go with the right handbag as well. So that is my third look, or fourth look, I should say. For the fifth look, sometimes I think our modern day style icons, of course, draw inspiration from past icons. And with this look, Jennifer is really giving me Audrey Hepburn vibes in her black turtleneck, black leggings, and black ballet flats, carrying her Christian Louboutin. Uh, bag, which I just really like. So I'm going with the basic black uh, turtleneck and black leggings. The next look, I like this look because I like the comfortableness of it, the slouchiness of the pants, the denim jacket, the cute booties, and I just think this is a great, you know, casual look. And she put her own kind of little sass in it with the booties. I think it really looks good. So we're going to try to recreate that. And then last but not least, you can never go wrong with a black blazer, a white t-shirt, and jeans. She's rocking some distressed, blinged out, uh, kind of boyfriend jeans that I think is really, really cute. So I'm going to try to recreate that look using just my plain boyfriend jeans that I've had for years that I absolutely love. That is it. Those are the looks that I have chosen to recreate from the uh, images that I found online of JLo. So let's just jump right into it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of my stylings. Did I hit the nail on the head? Did I get close? And who is your favorite uh, I saw icon when it comes to like casual chic or street urban chic uh, looks? For me, I have a few. I love Gabrielle Union's kind of laid back looks. I also like Tracy Ellis's Ross looks as well. But anyway, i uh, love to hear from you. Let's create some dialogue and I'll be right back. <laughs> This is look number one and the t-shirt vision that I had isn't working so I switched out the top with a Banana Republic halter top that's a little bit more free-flowing and really captures the layered look that JLo is giving in her picture. I'm also wearing my Michael Kors open toe booties in maroon. The jeans are thrifted, they're by Celebrity Pink and this is a vintage magazine bag and the jacket was a gift from a friend. So this is look number one. And it's a very comfortable look and definitely something that I would rock. And believe it or not, I've never paired any of these items that I'm wearing together today together. As I said before, I am totally a jeans girl and I'm really feeling this look. So this is a Gap denim chambray top and some H&M skinny jeans and I have paired them with some Calvin Klein nude pumps and these shades are by Ray-Ban, they are the 1971s and for my bag I'm carrying the Coach Gramercy satchel in the blue python print. Loving this look. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Look number two. For look number three, I have paired my Gap Denim Thrifted shirt with a white tee from Target and some H&M um, olive green pants that I've rolled up and paired with some Michael Kors booties. The bag is a Wilson leather bag that I thrifted and the shades are by Henry Bindel. So 
look number four is another favorite of mine. I'm really feeling this black linen blazer that I thrifted. I believe this is Ann Taylor. The t-shirt is once again the Target t-shirt and the jeans are by Gap. They were thrifted. They're boyfriend jeans rolled up and the Calvin Klein nude pumps. The shades are the 1971 Ray-Bans and the purse is by Alessandro Mari and I got that from Ross. So this is look number four and I'm really feeling this look. I think this would have to be my second favorite look out of these JLo stylings. So this is look number five. I'm wearing the separates. The skirt is by Vince Camuto and I cannot remember who the top is by, but I think it captures the essence of JLo's style in this picture. The bag is by Cheris Kiss, which I got off of Amazon. And I like this look. I think it's very, very comfortable. I like the stretch knit of the two separates and I'm feeling this very much. So for look number six, this is a definite classic. You can never go wrong, like I said, with the black turtleneck and the denim jeans and a pair of boots. This would look great with some knee-high boots like JLo is wearing. And the shades are some Target shades, guys, and I absolutely love this, these shades. I cannot remember the brand. I know I just got them from Target. And the bag is a vintage Willis Coach bag with a chain strap on it and a loving this look as well. So for the final look, this is my take on what JLo was wearing. This is a Michael Kors cap sleeve turtleneck whip some Vera Wang leggings, a Henry Bindle tote, and some Tory Burch ballet flats. So that's it guys. I had the best time styling. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Today it was JLo. Who will it be next? Maybe it'll be one that you suggest. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. As I said earlier, I love you guys. And remember to always be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.